Working as a carpenter with the same skills as a paramedic, Wapalo County Veterans Affairs Director Terry Bradley tried to join the medical field after serving in the United States Coast Guard. A nurse's response? Go back to college first. I asked her, you know, where did you get your triage training? And she said, well, that's none of your business. And I said, well, I got mine off the coast of Vietnam. I think I know a little bit. An Iowa program Bradley wishes was around when he was younger is bringing military experience to the civilian world. Governor Terry Branstad launched the Home Base Iowa Initiative in 2014 to pair veterans with jobs in Iowa. And now, the Iowa Workforce Development is working with Ottumwa and Wapalo County in building their own home base program. Veteran Representative Danny Simonson told me there are more jobs in Iowa than there are employees. There's a lot of positions out there, so the employers you know, need to know that there's veterans who want to come back here and we just need to get them connected because they have some good skills, especially leadership, teamwork, you know, cohesion, and, and you know, they're going to work, work the task and, and not the time. So far, roughly 1,200 Iowa veterans have registered and are listed in the online database. 22 employers in Wapalo County are currently on board, including John Deere. The workforce development is still trying to add more. Once an employee or veteran registers, they can search the database to find what they're looking for. We have a lot of employers are looking for qualified candidates, people with the soft skills, people with um, the education and the preparedness to go to work. Reporting in Ottumwa, Beth Walden, KTVO News.